Hello, and welcome back to the Oceaneers Travel Show. Hi, guys. Welcome in. Back again with an episode of Theme Park Thursday. Theme Park Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. Coming to you again, we have some breaking news this week. Yeah, we're going to take a break from our Universal tour, and we're going to bring you some Disney news. Back from our... Take a break from our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> to bring you this breaking news. This past weekend... Uh, Destination 23 Expo took place at, in uh, Walt Disney World, a contemporary resort. In and, Orlando. Yeah, a lot of uh, information came from this. So we're here to bring you everything that we know thus far. So we're going to jump right into it. And the starting story this week concerns Frozen. It does. Um, this is going over to Hong Kong Disneyland. And a whole new world of uh, Frozen is coming to you. Later this year, Arendelle, um, the World of Frozen, will open in Hong Kong Disneyland on November 20th, 2023. And this is going to be a new land that will completely immerse you into the World of Frozen with all our friends. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much done, ready to go. Yeah, they're just putting the finishing touches on it. It's going to house two attractions, Frozen Ever After, which will be mimicked after the One Disneyland depth. Park. Uh, or Disney World, um, and also a Wandering Oakens ride. Wandering Oakens uh, sliding sleighs. Can we get that at Epcot, please? I know. I love Oaken. Big summer blowout. Love that. I know. Wandering Frozen after after ride's good, but this would be good to add to it. It would. Um, and Frozen's still very popular. Frozen is very popular. I do know that they're making more Frozen movies, so oh, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? Uh, yeah. So there'll be shopping and dining, of course, themed in this land as well. Looking forward to that. So when we go into Hong Kong, mm, right now, let's go. All right, and we've also got some more news coming out. Some Zootopia news. Zootopia over a lot of Zootopia news. Yeah, actually, a lot of um, over in Shanghai Disney. There's going to be a whole new land themed around Zootopia. Um, that is going to open by the end of the year over in Shanghai. So I've only so. seen parts of Zootopia, so I don't know that much about the movie. I know we need to uh, parts of we need to go back and. And it's very popular. This. It is very popular. So Zootopia Land coming. There is an attraction listed. It's uh, Zootopia Hot Pursuit. So I think uh, that gets you up close and personal with uh, some of the characters. I've also heard there's going to be a pretty amazing animatronic in this attraction. So looking forward to that. You know, Disney does their animatronics up right. Somebody at Disney is really in love with Zootopia because there's a lot of that yeah. stuff been in the work. So well, that's okay. Um, there's also going to be character meets, a Zootopia themed food and drink, among other things. So definitely looking forward to that. If you're a Zootopia fan, get over to Shanghai Disney. Be looking for that exact uh, launch date because right now it just says sometime before the end of the year. So, so, and then we're going to jump back on over into America. <laughs> this is going to be everything that's going to be coming to. The U.S. Correct. Some of these projects are further along than others. Yes. Some Most of them are done practically, and some of them are still in the concept phase. Most of this stuff is going to be, you know, themed into Walt Disney World in Orlando, but there are a few things sprinkled in elsewhere. So, so. we're going to start out with Ahsoka. Uh, oh, Ahsoka is so popular. Great show. The Disney Plus show. I love it. If you're not watching it, I really suggest you should. Especially if you're a Star Wars fan. Or a Rosario Dawson fan. <laughs> hey. I, I'm a Rosario Dawson. Because it really does delve into that story. And if uh, you don't know who Ahsoka is, then, you know, you should watch, watch the show. show. I'm not going to live any spoilers here. But, um, yeah. Definitely should watch the show. It's a so, great watch. Well, what is the deal with Ahsoka? Where is she coming to? So, ah ah Ahsoka is actually... Ahsoka. Ahsoka. Ah Ahsoka is actually going to be um, put into the Star Tours experience over in Hollywood Studios. So starting early next year, they're going to bring new... Um, new videos, I guess, into the Star Tours that's going to actually follow her story. Um... So, yeah. So, you know, Star Tours is pretty random anyway. You can get a number of 20-something different shows that you go in and take part of in Star Tours. So, she will be joining that lineup. Joining that lineup. At yeah. Disney Hollywood Studios, uh, 
next spring, I believe, and uh, globally shortly thereafter, from my understanding. Yep. Yep. Right. yep. And I wouldn't be surprised if they they don't throw in some meet and greets with her in the near, very near future. Yeah, that would be an easy character for them to uh, partake them. and put out into Galaxy's Edge. Be a very good addition. Yeah. All right. Um, so moving down, second on the list, we have a new Disney movie coming out in November of this year. Oh, Disney Wish. Looks like a throwback to the old classics. Definitely looks like a great movie. Um, definitely grabbed my heartstrings right from the get-go of the previews. But they are also introducing the main character of that film, Asha, as uh, you know a, a character you can meet in Walt Disney World. Meet and greet. Yeah. Does it say which park at Disney World she's coming to? It looks like she's coming to Epcot okay. in Disney World, and she's also coming to Disneyland and Disneyland Paris. Okay. And that'll be coming up sometime, I would say, end of the year, first of next year would be my guess? Yeah, I would say definitely. Don't have a date. They're going to go after, um, after the movie release. Movie premieres, the movie premieres uh, November 22nd. Okay. So. All right, moving down, uh, number three on our list. Oh, the Hatbox Ghost. Have you went to see the Haunted Mansion movie? Jared and, Leto played uh, a great Hatbox Ghost. Yeah. Um, this movie's very underrated. It underperformed at the box office, but it's it was great. really good. Definitely go see it if you haven't, if it's even still out, or wait till it comes out on Disney Plus and see it. It's a really good movie. I but really liked it. The, hat, the Hatbox Ghost is going to be making his appearance in the Haunted Mansion um, towards the end of the year. I think uh, late November is what they said. Yeah, yeah, the late November at uh, Magic Kingdom. Yes, and they did say that not only will he be, you know, kind of hanging out in certain aspects of the mansion, but he can roam. So, you may go one time and ride Haunted Mansion. and be one place. He's going to be one place, and then the next time he's going to be in another place. So, he's definitely going to roam around. Um which is, I think is really cool because that'll make that ride seem all the more, you know, fitting and lively. And of course, Haunted Mansion is a cult favorite anyway. I mean, it's arguably the most popular attraction Fantastic in the Disney ride. World, just based upon Fantastic. its theming and you know, following. But yes. All right. Fox Ghost. Yeah. We're going kind of fast because there's a lot of information and we don't want to be here. You know, till tomorrow, telling you about all. Well, a lot of this stuff still is in the concept phase, so yeah, there's there's just brief stuff to go over, but there is a lot of it. There is a lot of it. So, uh, number four, no surprise here, the country, country bear country jamboree. Bear jamboree is getting a little bit of a not a facelift, but um, a makeover though. A little bit of a makeover. They're going to add it's some due. new songs. They're still going to be in the country bear realm you know as far as the theming goes when they add some of this new stuff um on one hand i'm glad that they're keeping a classic uh but it is due for a refurb and an update and kind of bring it up to date just a little bit yeah so, so it is going to go down for renovation and open back up in 2024 no dates have specifically been mentioned um they will be putting some love into the attraction and characters with new songs and acts um, the fun, friendly tone will stay the same, so that's great. Um, you know, Country Bears are another cult favorite of Disney. And, you know, I don't think it should be missed when you go. But at the same time, you know, there's a lot to do in Magic Kingdom. So you don't always have time to sit down for right. 20, 30 minutes at a time to watch this. But yeah. We do not have an exact date on this, but it will go down sometime in the next few months uh, and will reopen sometime in early, mid-2024. So it's not going to be a it's long refurb. Long refurb, be, but at the same time, you know, they're already working on the new numbers and the new music. Um, so it shouldn't they, be too bad. They've just got to refurb the characters a little bit. No. All right, number five on the list. Th this was a pretty big story. So This was a big story. Now, this is Early. <laughs> can't get my S's out. This is specifically for Disneyland. But... Well, that's because we can't have it here. Thanks, Universal. They have teased a new ride vehicle for a new Avengers attraction, which looks pretty cool. It, yeah, it, it's a jump vehicle, which yes. kind of reminds you of the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind right. at Epcot. But I don't think it's going to be the exact same ride. It's going to be... Something different. 
but it, you know, still in the early stages of planning, but they did tease the ride vehicle. Um, Which I don't yeah. think it would hurt anybody's feelings if they brought Guardians to Disneyland just because it's awesome. Right. Right. They already have the Guardians on the Tower of Care, <laughs> right. you know, type of ride over there. Um, but they do state that this vehicle is capable of jumping between worlds, um, Earth and beyond. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see what they do. If they incorporate more of the superheroes that we know and love from the Avengers playbook, or if, uh, you know, if they're going to do something similar to Guardians. So, so more know. information about that coming soon. Um, another new, uh, another new show, dinner, show, combination thing. I don't, yeah. I, I don't know what the right phrasing for this is. Restaurant, but with a theme. Um, it's, it's, they're dubbing this as a watering hole. That's what um, I think. And this is going to be next to Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean is going to get a, uh. Be coming to Adventureland, specifically, in Magic Kingdom. Yes. Um, some kind of eatery slash pub slash, um, you know. Going to involve the parrot heavily. Yes. It's going to be at the Pirates. So, you know. We do swash, not. Wash buckling good time and lots of rum. Where's the rum? The rum is going to be at Magic Kingdom. We do not have an exact opening date yet. No. But, uh, yeah, this is cool. I mean, who doesn't love the Pirates? And Should get more information on this in the very near future. Yeah. it's uh, Next year, it looks like it's going to be. And I'm not sure if it's going to be. We don't know if it's going to be, you know, at the end of the attraction. Are they going to, you know, have a little place where you can go once you come off and go into this uh, tavern? I'm trying to figure out where they're going to put it. Or are they taking one of the other taverns there and, and redo retheming it into this? I don't know yet. So more of that once we know. Just announced it's still early. Again, most of this is still very early planning, very early. It's just now been announced, but it is coming soon. It is. <laughs> Everything's coming soon. So, World Celebration. Uh, yes, they have been working on this for what seems like forever. Um, World Celebration is kind of the center hub of Epcot. If you've been to Epcot within the last few years, you've noticed the big walls that are up. Once you pass Spaceship Earth and you go to the right or to the left, for whichever area you're going to, you'll know that those huge walls are I've up. been up forever. They've been up forever. So we now know that World Celebration um, will open in December in Epcot. So the walls are coming down. We're tearing down the walls. Tearing down the walls. So this yeah. this has been a long time in the works. Uh, this will also involve uh, the Moana areas in that general vicinity as well it is um but it's basically going to be just a new hub so there's you know going to be uh you know not necessarily attractions but um visual places you know to pick photo ops and you know stuff like that um to to visit so it's going to celebrate you know everything epcot is everything walt envisioned epcot to be so which leads us right into what I just said, the Moana area is right there as well. Yeah, we were um, in Epcot this past weekend and definitely... They were holding cast member previews. Moana area is ready to go. Everyone that's been absolutely loves it. They say it's very different, but a very good experience. Um, it's a walkthrough attraction. Journey of Water is you what know, they're calling it. The Journey of Water. So, you know, I imagine lots of like playful waterscapes and... You know, water that kind of travels and, um, which if you've ever been over to like the Figment um, area in Epcot, there's those little fountains that kind of jump back and forth. Um, I imagine that on like a grander scale, um, but I haven't been back there because we haven't. We do have there. more information about this, though. This is pretty much there. I mean, this is going to be opening October, mid-October. Yeah. October 16th, 2023 is when this is going to open to everyone. So we're there. We're, we're a month out. Um, we'll try to include. I got a little bit of a, a peek at it. Not much, but just. Right. Uh, There's no, not a whole lot that we could see. But I'll show you what I can. Um, there's going to be a Moana meet and greet in this as well as part of this yes. new area. We so, have seen Moana. October 16th. That's the date. We've seen Moana, Moana here and there um, as far as character meets go. 
Um, but she hasn't had a consistent home. So this will give her a consistent home to meet people, which will be good. It, the concept art looks good. What I saw the other day looked really cool. Yeah. So the, um, I'll just be glad to have the walls down. The Tafiti, is that her name? The goddess or queen? Right. Um, is a it, prominent. It looks pretty, pretty cool. So definitely looking forward to that. All right. We're going to stay in Epcot. Yes. And, you know, mixed reviews here. Um, it looks like Epcot. Uh, forever is going away. Bye yeah, bye Epcot Forever, which I cried at Epcot Forever, but I cry everywhere. <laughs> we'll have a video of that up soon of yeah. you crying at Epcot uh, Forever. But a brand new nighttime show is coming. It's called Luminous, um, the Symphony of Us, and that will debut soon as well on in December. Uh, yeah, the first part of December. So if you want to see Epcot Forever, you better go, go run. Go now <laughs> while you still can. Yeah, it, it's it's a great show. Uh, I'm sure the new one will be just as good. So, so, um, yeah, there was you know Harmonious was what what is this new one called by the way? This new one is called Luminous. Luminous. Harmonious was where the big barges that were in the lagoon, and everybody was happy when that went away, and so they brought back Epcot Forever, and well, now they're bringing a new show. So Luminous is coming. The Symphony of Us. We'll begin on December 5th, and it's going to be fireworks, lasers, all that you come to love from the Epcot show. A lot of Epcot news today, because our next story is also about Epcot. Oh, um, is it the Test Track one? Yeah, Test Track. Um, test Track is getting a makeover, y'all. I can't you know, wait for that to happen. I, I have very mixed feelings. I, I like Test Track, but it's also dated. It, it feels very... It feels very... It feels 90s. Yeah, 90s. <laughs> Uh, l late 90s, early 2000s, it just doesn't feel current at all. Yes, yeah, so they are working with Chevrolet to completely revamp and uh, redo Test Track, but apparently it is going to very closely follow the um, initial, I guess, ride from back in the day. Um, which was better. Which was a whole lot better. So, so th this is a good announcement. Yes. We are going to be getting... Uh, that was World of Motion back in the day. So they're working on uh, completely bringing that to inspire, inspired by the World of Motion ride. But up to date still. Yeah. All right. We also got an announcement. Um, oh, this is... Uh, yeah. I I'm going to butcher this name. Thomas Mazaloom. Right. With Disney Signature Experiences. I don't know uh, if I butchered that or not. Well, the big announcement there is that a whole island. Disney has <laughs> purchased a whole island in the Bahamas. Um, and they are redoing it. You know, they've got Castaway Key and it's fantastic. But, you know, you can only put so many ships over there at once. And Disney is quickly expanding its fleet. Um, I know they announced... You know, the Disney Treasure, they announced um, the Disney Adventure. Yeah, we just did a whole video on the Disney Treasure. Please make sure you go and watch uh, that preview. But I think they've also uh, and you know stated that there are two more ships in the work that they have not released names or yeah, that, um, launches for. They've got, what, four ships currently? Five. Five, five, ships, five ships currently in active duty. Two Disney Treasure announced. is seven, coming. Seven. And then two more in the works, so that will bring their fleet up to nine. Nine. Yes. The Disney Treasure we just did a video on. Please make sure you go and watch that video. It's a great preview video of giving you the the, the yes. first look at Disney Treasure. Treasure is going to be a Wish sister. Um, There's another ship that they purchased and have rethemed. This was a brand new ship built by another company who went out of business. So this ship is a new ship, not just refurbished. Right, but they've redone it. Rebranded it. For Disney, but it's going to feature um, the Asian market, I believe. Shang uh, Singapore is what I heard. The, yeah, sailing out of Singapore. So, so. so we've got the Lookout uh, K at Lighthouse Point coming. Uh, that's supposed to be coming as early as middle of next year, is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Uh, June oh. 6, 2024, Disney Magic out of Fort Lauderdale will be the first guest to experience it and it's lookout key c-a-y is spelled is pronounced key key lookout k key lookout k will be coming <laughs> i'm not saying lookout key at lighthouse point is the name of the island and then this the disney adventure will be going to singapore as we just said 
Yes. Uh, and a lot of other stuff going on there. So, um, yeah, the Disney, it was the World Celebration was the name of the ship. And, of course, that company never saw light of day. They had this ship that was, what, 75 to 80% completed. And so Disney just swooped in and purchased it. Um, for a sweet price. Yeah, for a very sweet price. And then all they had to do was kind of just retheme it just a little bit to fit their MO. And boom. They've got a nation market. They do, which they've always said, you know, we've got Shanghai, Hong Kong, Tokyo, we've got all those different Disney parks, but uh, Disney Cruise Line was always just specific to, you know, the America. <laughs> and, and, but you need, uh, that's a very different cruising experience out of Shanghai or anywhere like that than it is America. Yes. Well, even, those ships have to be almost custom made for those markets because those do. people cruise differently. They do, and their way of life is different. And, and so, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, but Disney right. is being accommodating to that particular yes. sector, you have which to is good. Have, you have to have different uh, and profitable. You know, you have to have different bathroom setups. You have to have different right. bathing setups. There are certain uh, amenities that they are privy to over there that we. We, have, you know, we don't care about here. Some so. of the stuff that we do, they would find strange, and some of the stuff they do, we would find strange in America. So there's nothing wrong with being diverse there's and applying. Wrong, just like here in the states, you know, we don't really care about our coffee or tea necessarily. Over in Europe, if you sail on a European cruise, usually you have you have a tea kettle in your room. In your room. Yeah. In your room, because that is a way of life over there. Um, not necessarily here. So, so, so that that's the the cruising news that came out of this event. We're going to go ahead and tackle the the elephant in the room. This this news has been around a while, but they keep coming back and keep discussing it. The more I'm hearing them discussing it, the more I believe that this is actually going to become a thing. I don't think they would have shared it necessarily in this. Well, they shared this a while back. They did, but now they're really kind of saying, "Hey, this is really going to happen." Um, I don't. I don't think they do it twice unless it's further along than they're making yeah. it sound like. So we're talking beyond Thunder Mountain, um, and, and Walt Disney World, and Magic Kingdom. You know, you kind of think that this doesn't have anything to do with Epic Universe coming. Uh, yeah. You, you. I mean, the Epic Epic Universe Universal is a gigantic park. Again, we did a whole video on it. Go watch that. This is is got to be an answer. Kind of a. a a Disney sort of answer because, um, you know, this is going to they happen. Have said on multiple occasions that we have no shortage of room. So this, the fact that they're kind of teasing this again now, says that they're moving forward with this plan. So we're talking beyond Thunder Mountain. Um, so if you're in Magic Kingdom, you know, you got Thunder Mountain, and that's kind of it. You've got the the river next to it where the riverboat goes, but behind Thunder Mountain, there's an, a large amount of real estate back there that has not been developed. So they are going to take some of that. And right now, it looks like that we are going to... Um, yeah, it was uh, the guy's name is Bruce Vaughn. That he we're, is the we're, chief creative officer yeah. at Walt Disney Imagineering. But it looks like a, a land thing to Coco. It looks like right yeah. behind there. Um, uh, he, he's there's a couple things going that, that they're talking about here. They're saying that this is going to be in scale with like Galaxy's Edge size mm -hmm. or Pandora size. So this is a big project. It's not just a new ride. Yeah, this is a huge project. Uh, it's going to be another another land. Yeah. You're gonna uh, Coco is is definitely one that I've heard. Uh, Kanto is widely popular. That would be crazy not to do that. But I've also heard Kanto some other stuff about Encanto. So mm -hmm. I don't know if they want to do that here or not. But Coco and Kanto and my personal favorite that I hope that they do. It's long overdue. The villains. Yeah, they could do a whole lot with villains um, back there. And, you know, I've seen some renderings kind of on the internet, not necessarily from D23, but some other people that have taken aerial shots of, you know, the area. And there's a way that they could tie everything in from starting behind that Big Thunder Mountain and then going around and tying everything back in to behind Haunted Mansion. Um, and that would be a perfect tie-in to have Villains Land 
and Han Mansion kind of be right there together, and then, you know, go into Coco and Kanto, whatever. Um, but yeah, I love this idea. I so, love, love, love this idea. This uh, They the, said there's no shortage of land there. They've got plenty of room to expand without compromising what they have currently as far as, you know, the the river. And they could even reroute the river if they had to. Or build, build a bridge build across. Build a bridge fun. across that, you know, either a drawbridge that they could stop and draw the bridge up when the Liberty boat came through or just build it high enough that it could go under yeah. it. Uh, it, Bruce Vaughn is the chief creative officer of Walt Disney Imagineering. He was joined by Parks Chairman Josh Dumaro. There, there is a quote here. It says, uh, there's still a long way to go, but I just want all of our fans to know that we are about to go into overdrive at the Magic Kingdom and looking forward to spending more time with this team as we develop this idea to create something really special that every single person here is going to love. So this is going to happen, I'm pretty sure. They're going to do something. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the big. They're saying it's going to be the biggest expanded Magic Kingdom ever. Yeah. So this this is going to happen, I believe. So stay tuned. More to come. I'm really hoping for the villains land that. Yeah. Uh, Scar Jafar. You only see the villains at the castle. At, n not even you see them at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, and that's it. You, you don't see And they have villains. a ton of great villains. No, they do. Scar, Jafar. Maleficent. Maleficent. Arthur. The Queen. The yeah, Evil Queen. One and two and three. One, two, and three. I mean, uh, they've got some really good yeah. characters. Yeah, you've got really good, really good characters. All right, we're going to go back uh, to Zootopia. We talked about it earlier. I told you there was a lot going on with we that. Did. Zootopia is this one's This one's happening. This one is happening. It's coming to uh, Animal Kingdom in the Tree of Life Theater. Sorry, a bug's life is going away. I love a bug's life. I love getting stung in the back and all that, the stink bug smell and, you know. Oh, yeah. Right. But I, I understand. It's dated. It's dated. We need to move on. Bugs Life came out in 99. But we're doing a Zootopia uh, themed, um, I guess, show inside the, the theater there. So I'm excited to see what happens. Um, they haven't uh, exactly said, you know, when, it's, when Bugs Life is going to end, when Zootopia is going to come. But be looking forward to that. Definitely to start up probably within the next year. Both a tear and a smiley face at the same time. Yeah. All right. Um, this one is, is going to get a big smiley face from me, but some people out there love this area, and I don't know why anybody loves this area. It's horrible. It's terrible. It's, <laughs> we did a video, and this was my worst ride in all of Disney World. Yes. So I'm glad it's leaving. Some people will disagree. Please give me the hate comments all you want. Tell me how wrong uh, I am. One thing I will say, I agree with our, our discussion on dinosaurs specifically, but they are retheming Dino Land and making it something entirely different. It's going to be themed around the, was the jungles of tropical Americas is what they're theming, going to retheme it as. It's going to have some new attractions. The big attraction that they are saying is Indiana Jones because the Indiana Jones ride in Disneyland has the exact same track system as Dinosaur. So they're going to do Indiana Jones where Dinosaur is now. My only holdup is I disliked Dinosaur, not because of the dinosaurs, not because of the pre-show or any of that, but because of the ride itself. It was jerky. It hurt me. Is, I didn't like it. Is it still going to be that? If it's still going to be the same vehicle, the same track, the same type of ride, this will still get low marks from me. I agree, but it also, it might not. It, it, it might be the same track itself, but the coaster itself might be different. I don't know that it's the track from Dino Land that beat you up as much as it is the hydraulics that are in the, well, that's the what car I itself. So hopefully they're going to use the same track system, but employ different cars and different things like that to where it's not as rough and doesn't beat the crap out of you like this other stuff do. Um, the other thing here that they were talking about was Encanto. Again, I have a hard time seeing them putting it in both Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom, so we'll just have to wait and see here. Yeah, um, I think definitely it, from the rendering of what they're doing to 
um, Animal Kingdom. It looks, because the Animal Kingdom thing is kind of already set in motion. This is happening. Um, and they do have the home from Encanto kind of shown. That you can walk up and go to the house that is the, whatever the, what's the family's name? I, I'm losing it. But, yes, you know the, the house from Encanto. You can just walk up. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if they're going to do that in two parks. I see this out. happening more at Animal Kingdom than I do at Magic Kingdom. Yes. I could be wrong. They're, they may do it at both. I mean, it's not impossible. I've seen, they've done both at other parks before. But I, I see this being more of a animal kingdom than a magic kingdom. But stay tuned. More to that to come. This, If this does happen, this is still years away because it's a complete redevelopment. So it's going to be a while. Yes. And then, you know, are there going to be other rides announced because Triceratops spin would go away? Um, you know, would they bring anything else? Or would you just retheme Triceratops or spin? and uh, retheme it into something new? Yeah. You could retheme that into uh, a bunch of Brunos. Yeah, flying, just a bunch of burnout. Or you could do the the train cars from in you know the the mine carts from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom yeah, and put that. The there's tons of things do. you could do here. Okay, sixteen. I'm um, so this one's happened. So excited about it. I'm so bummed because we were just there. We missed this by one day. Uh, of course, from what I understand, we weren't going to get in <laughs> get in anyway. Figment's back. He's doing meet and greets. Our favorite purple. Dragon is back. The original Epcot mascot. Yes, Figment. Kind of died off for a few years. but He is. And if this is indi any indication about how much love Figment has in the Walt Disney World universe, Disney, y'all better not do anything with our Figment. Leave him alone. We like Figment. Mm. We like Figment. I like the Figment ride. <laughs> so. It doesn't get a lot of attention, but I love that Figment ride. Well, the Figment ride, I think they... They've redid it in the past and didn't. It's not as good as it used to be. It's still fun. But it's still cute. But Figment is, yeah. Figment came back on Sunday, September 10th. Again, we were there on the 9th. We missed him by one day. Yeah. Um, and Figment opened with a five hour wait. Five hour wait, and they cut off the line. <laughs> a five hour wait to meet a purple dragon. I don't know that I love him enough to wait five hours. Well, no. But I would have roped dropped. <laughs> to get in line early. So Figment is back, and he's back every day from my understanding from now on. Yeah. For, please don't mess with him again. Everybody clearly likes him. He's in the Imagination Pavilion at Epcot, so, you know. is that Where is the Imagination? The Imagination Pavilion is where the Figment ride is. That's what I thought. It's where you exit, and you have that whole little area there. That's where Figment is. Where they used to have the Wreck-It Ralph stuff, so. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So I'm, I'm glad that they brought this back. Yes. All right. Soarin' Over California is returning to Epcot for a limited time. I love Soarin'. Never did Soarin' Over California, but the Soarin' at Epcot, I absolutely love. It's Everyone that I've talked to says Soarin' Over California is better. That'd be, uh, um, I find that hard to believe because I love Soarin'. Yeah. But if, uh, if Soarin' Over California, if you've done it and you love it, you can do it at Walt Disney World for a limited time. Um, I think it just says it's beginning September 22nd. It doesn't necessarily say how long it's going to last, but there you go. Uh, and they did announce next year's. That's what I was going to say. We're going to wrap this up with that. Yeah. Um, if, you know, if D23 is something that you want to take part in, or if you want to go to one of the expos, I want to go. they're calling it the largest Disney fan event ever. That's going to happen next year. Uh, it's going to be in Anaheim this time, and it's going to be in August. Uh, I'm August, go. August 9th through the 11th in Anaheim. Um, it says, for the first time, the event will be a multi-destination. The expo will, and shopping will happen at the convention center, but most significant announcements will occur at the Honda Center to allow even more fans a chance to be a part of the excitement. Tickets will go on sale in the spring. So, so that is our wrap up of the D twenty three at Orlando, yeah, special event. Lots going on. A lot of news coming out of it. A lot of park updates. Uh, again, a lot of this is in response to you know Universal's massive. We think. We think. We don't know this for sure. How can a, a a company like Disney let? you know, a neighbor down the road say, hey, we're opening a brand new park with all this brand new shiny stuff and you're not going to do anything? No, they're going to do something. So, 
Yeah. Or Orlando is belongs to Disney. It does. But Say what you want. If you look over the last several years, Disney has done a lot of updates to their park and brought a lot new banger rides uh, into, you know, and this has kind of been Universal's response was, hey, we're just going to open a whole new park. And so Disney's like, well, hey, we're going to do this. This is tick for tat. Yeah. So that that's going to wrap it up for us this week. Uh, this episode, we did have to uh, postpone an episode that we had already had scheduled for this week because originally we were not going to cover this like this, but there was just so much news we felt like we had to. It's too juicy. Too, too much going on. So we that episode uh, about Volcano Bay will be coming to you next week. Look for that. Uh, so we hope you enjoyed this episode. Please, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, write comments and reviews, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. Invite your friends. We're almost to 600 subscribers. And that's just mind-blowing to me how you know things can just Very happen quickly. so fast. Um, yeah. Contest is still going on. Send her an email if you uh, subscribe and send her an email. Oceanerstravel at gmail.com if you want to be entered into that contest. Into that drawing for some universal tickets. So, and with that being said, I do not have anything else. Do you have anything else, Robin? I don't either. It's been great, friends. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye.